Hi Pisces, this is your bonus reading for August 2022, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for August 2022 in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for August 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of pisces for august 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so if you're interested in a private reading you can contact me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com so pisces Pisces, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Pisces, this is you. This is your partner. So, Pisces, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For August 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Pisces, is the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Pisces, listen, you know, someone could be feeling stuck in a situation here, or this is block communication. Clarify the eight of swords for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Pisces and their partner. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So listen, Pisces, you know, this can be concerning some type of st st really stability, your, you guys' foundation. This can be concerning a ceremony, a celebration, leveling up, marriage, or property here, okay? So listen, maybe someone's stuck on leveling up or stuck on maybe some type of commitment here. Or, you know, someone is blocking someone out of this house. They don't want to be bothered here. Pisces, you have the Knight of Cups. You have the Empress. You have the magician. Your partner has the six of swords. Your partner has the four of cups. And your partner has the ten of cups. Okay. So, Pisces. The mutual point of interest and what's on both you guys' minds is someone may be stuck on maybe leveling up, moving in together, or going into some type of commitment. Or, you know, someone is maybe blocking someone out of this home, locking them out or putting them out. Listen, Pisces, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So listen, Pisces, someone is saying that they're sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here, possibly a proposal Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Pisces, listen, something could be happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could be getting, in, getting into this heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else so pisces listen you know someone could be coming in to apologize here for communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else someone could be apologizing for a heated discussion or argument that may have taken place here okay however you know someone may want to come in to apologize and ready to move really quickly here pisces you have the empress could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So listen, Pisces, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about nurturing the relationship, but it could also be about your abundance. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. It is clarified with you, Pisces, the moon. The moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So, Pisces, this is you. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Clarify the moon for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups again. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So again, someone is saying that I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming with a romantic gesture, maybe some type of proposal here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love or a blessing. Now, Pisces, you very well maybe have this new opportunity of love, a new era of love coming into you because it very well could be an apology, but it could also be a romantic gesture here, okay? Someone is wanting to level up. Maybe someone is wanting to nurture the relationship further here. But Pisces, someone could be coming in trying to apologize for some type of secret of them having new love, having communicated passionately online with someone else and being intimate with someone else. This is what they could be apologizing for. <clears throat> Pisces, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So listen, Pisces, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Pisces, listen, you're telling me you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. So you're trying to manifest making a decision. You very well could be stuck on whether or not you want to level up with this person because it could be coming in with a romantic gesture proposal here, wanting to nurture the relationship. 
Pisces, your partner has a six of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Pisces, your partner could be physically moving or traveling. Your partner could tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are having this communication. Your partner could tell me that they're coming to some truth and clarity. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision or using this sword to sever. So, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are communicating about putting it behind you and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Your partner could tell me that some truth and clarity has come out and they're just wanting you guys to put it behind you or they're wanting to move out, move on and move away from the relationship. Could be making a decision to put it behind you or just move away from the relationship or they could be using this sword to sever and completely move away from the relationship. Pisces, your partner has the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, there is an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending a offer, but they fear that the offer would be rejected. So listen, Pisces, could be an offer coming into your partner that they're thinking about missing. However, your partner could be contemplating sending a offer. They just fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Four of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Four of Cups for Pisces, partner. Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft, perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Pisces, listen, very well could be something going on with work or business, yes. However, your partner could tell me that they want to work things out. They're willing to put in the work here. <sighs> your partner could tell me that they're coming into you with this cup. But they want to and they feel like you won't accept it, okay? They feel like you're going to miss it. However, you know, they may want to come in with this cup to work things out with you. However, you could be coming in with this cup to them to work things out. And maybe they're thinking about missing it. Could be vice versa. Pisces, your partner has a ten of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Pisces, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here, 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 okay? However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the High Priestess. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition. But they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now the high priestess keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So Pisces, listen. Your partner could tell me that you guys aren't speaking. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition. Or they have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces, partner. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces, partner. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups again. 
Ay, 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 ay. So listen, Pisces, yes, your partner could tell me that, you know, I don't know. We're not speaking. Maybe it's ending between us. Our commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family, dynamics. We just don't know. Or your partner's telling me that they're using an intuition towards commitment here, okay? Now, it could be you coming into them with this apology or proposal, wanting to work things out here, but it could also be them coming in. I feel like, you know, you're the one who needs to make the decision. So I feel like your partner is saying, you know what? I'm just using my intuition. I hope we go into this commitment. I hope we have this forgiveness. I hope we can restore. Listen, maybe stuck here because you're the one needing to make a decision about maybe leveling up with this person. Pisces, this is your bonus reading for August 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.